All right, Shalom. Shalom. This is the brother uh, Mayum. Ash. All right, we're coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, we want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. And much blessing and salutations to the Akiyam around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out this truth and its truth and sincerity. All right, so uh, just want to do a lesson here. Uh, really inspired uh, through the spirit. You know, you had Edomite come up to camp uh, this past weekend, and uh, it was a statement that he said, uh, which I'm going to show the clip from that. But first, I wanted to show a clip from this movie, Black KKK Klansman. All right, because uh, it goes into what East, this damn devil uh, at camp was saying. And it, this is really the spirit of, of these uh, these Edomites. All right. And we're seeing it now being pushed with, uh, you know, these these uh, Edomites going on the news and saying how we're racist and everything like this. But it, when it comes down to uh, and as you'll see, when it comes down to it, these devils really, really don't. There's still that racism that's in them still comes out and as you're gonna see um you're gonna see the scene here in the movie first and then uh just to give you the background because this movie was based on true true story all right and the guy that you're gonna see uh speak his name is david duke all right and he was the i don't know if he is now still but i know the man's still alive he was the head of the whole Ku Klux Klan organization he was the president of it the head clansman yeah the head the grand wizard as yeah. they called him all right, and you're going to see a statement that he says in this movie, and this is basically how these Edomites feel to this day, and we're going to show you we're going to show you the proof in that in the spirit that that Edomite came up to us in camp, all right? So the none further hindrance, I'm going to play the clip and then we're going to get some some uh, scriptures after the two clips. My brothers in Christ. And this is the part right here. Nobel Prize recipient, co-creator of the transistor, and a dear, dear friend of mine, Dr. William Shockley, whose groundbreaking scientific work ushered in the computer age has proven. So you see, he said it's scientific, all right? They have scientific uh, proof of this, of what he's about to say. So, and you know how Esau always tries to use science as a way of proving something. Or try to prove his point, all right? Which is you, as we know, you know, and anybody knows, especially nowadays, if you're living in 2019 and you still don't think that Esau science is bullshit to a certain extent, then hey, then, you, then you're just lost. And this is pure proof okay. that this, this Edomite science is is false. Uh, that, what Esau shit is, is pseudoscience. Yeah. Pretty kinda. much a sham. <laughs> Kind of. And this is this is a pure example right here, right? This is scientific proof that this guy's about to give. Through his research with eugenics, that each of us here has flowing through our veins the genes of a superior race. It's a fact. So you see what he say? He says every single one of us here, which is this is a a, a clansman um, initiation uh, thing that they're doing. All right, he said every single one of us here. Have flowing through our veins genes that are superior, uh, and that's a fact. <laughs> that's scientific fact, <laughs> you know. And that's the same spirit that these devils have to to this very day. That's why, um, that's why you can't come out and say anything bad about the so-called white man because he's he he believes himself to be superior above anybody else. And if and if his subordinates, the people beneath him, say anything about his power. Or try to usurp authority over him. He's got a problem with that. All right. Kind of a quick scripture. This is okay. Obadiah one and three. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Kind of, that's right, man. And that's that's the pride of this devil, man. He he truly believes that he's above everybody else. All right. He and that's why he always puts his uh his symbol as an eagle. Because the eagle's the highest flying bird, kind of, okay? Yeah, um, that's the that's what the next verse says. That kind of. He exalts himself as an eagle, but like you see, the brother was saying that he he can't, you know, he's so prideful that he refuses to to, you know, to even you know the the, the thought of even uh, a Israelite or so called Negro Latino Native American man being better than him, you know, he just can't fathom because of his All pride. Right. Yep. 
So let me let me play that play that again. Proven through his research with eugenics that each of us here has flowing through our veins the genes of a superior race. It's a fact. It's a fact. It can't be disputed. Today. And in that same prideness that this devil is, is playing this guy in this movie is the same pridefulness in, 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 in these Edomites when when they say this out on the street. And really in there, that's why you see these devils walk around with that pride because they really believe that they're superior above everybody else. All right. And you're going to see that here in a second um, on the one from the Edomite at camp. All right. But let me play this again in case you didn't hear. Has flowing through our veins. The genes of a superior race. It's a See, fact. he said every single one of you f here today had the genes have the, uh, flowing through your veins genes of a superior race. It's a fact, scientifically proven from some devil. You see, and that's the that's this is the Edomite mentality that they're better than everybody else and can't nobody tell them otherwise. And if you try to come up against them, if you try to say that there is something other than that, it's a problem and we're going to come after you, which is what these elites are, are doing. That's why they're they're putting all these uh, compilation edited videos up on the news to try to demonize us because we're coming at them with the truth. And the truth is that you so-called white people, you Edomites, according to the Bible, that's your biblical nationality. You're nothing but a base man. You're 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 nothing. You're the lowest of the lowest, all right? And we're going to get, like I said, a few scriptures. But first, let me get uh, the video from camp to show you that these devils, this is the mentality that they have. What you just heard in this movie is not just a, a, a movie scene, all right? And we're going to show you this. Um, all right, this was at camp. All right, and up to this point, an Edomite just walked up. So on what happens in the world. Yeah, they got to eat you in NATO, though. Yeah, they got a seat on the summit, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, so what, is, what does someone's race really have to do with it? It's about national... All right, so you see this devil came up and, uh, you know, the stereotypical question Edomites always have, what does race or nationality have to anything to do with it? You know, because Esau sees that he's not on that list. <laughs> he's not on that list, so he's got a problem with it. All right, uh, going back again to what we're doing this video on. Esau thinking that he's superior above everybody else. And he doesn't see himself included in the salvation that's coming to the Israelites. All right. And he's got an issue with it. So he's got to he's got to try to uh, uh, destroy what we what we're doing up there. And I believe he he, he saw the, the chess race sign, too. You know? yep. So that's probably what he, well, now it's a problem that that we're exposing that the Messiah was in a so-called white man. Now it's now it, they want to ask the question, what race got to do with it? Come on. Yep. So let's play this. Nationality, Nationality, according to race. the Bible. But what does it have to do? With according, it? according to the Bible, that the Lord set up different oh, nations. Right. What does it have to do with God's word, though? Well, right, that's I mean, what I'm telling you. If I may, if I may yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the the Lord said that there was a select nation of people that was going to be saved, and a select nation of people okay. that was going to go into slavery and be destroyed. So that's why it matters. Yeah. Because you have to identify who, saved. what nation is the, who, what nation are the Israelites of people, and who are they? pertaining to the day because the Lord said that the Israelites were going to be saved at the end and what people were going to go into slavery and what people were going to be destroyed. So that's what, what it, is, that's why it matters. That's why it matters. Ma I mean, well, that just explained. That's just why it matters. explained it. Yeah. yeah that, that's, that's Don't you want to be Lord's well, people? Let, let, me, let me read this to you. That's this malarkey. is 2nd Ezra 6. See, and you hear him, he's saying, well, this is malarkey. <laughs> you know, this is malarkey. He was, you know, and that's, that's the, uh, that's the, um, that's the tip, uh, that's the typical way that these Edomites feel, man. This is a bunch of bullshit, you know. Well, that's BS. Well, hey, if it's BS, then keep it moving, all right? Because we're we're not coming out of our own ass. This is coming out of the scriptures, all right. And you see, that's why that's why these devils, as you're gonna see here in a second, you know, he tried to come up all smooth asking questions, but yeah. now now he's gonna get a little irate. And the the true pride of Esau comes out. <laughs> yep, come. Seven fifty four, and, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. You would agree that we all come from Adam, right? Absolutely. And, and then there was a, a, it was a split after Noah, right? He had three sons, right? So listen to this. And the people also whom that who am thou so like, Let me start again. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. 
and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So right there, the Lord just made a complete distinction between all the people and then the people that he chose. We're, we're actually all chosen. Everyone what scripture is that? What scripture? Yeah. Everyone is what created. Give me one Bible Everyone scripture. Everyone is created in God's image. Well, let's listen to this. Let's do finish we, this. Do we agree let's on that? Let's finish this. Yeah. Do we agree? We just read that Everyone we all came is from Everyone is created no. in God's image. Just listen, let's listen yes? to this. Yes? No. no. Well, what, what, you got to right. understand what then that means, got, though. Then you guys are looking at something Okay, but you don't want the word different. of the Lord come out. Just listen Absolutely. to this. Absolutely, I love the word of the Lord. Verse 55. All this have... Yeah, and that's, that's that's what the devils always say. Absolutely, we I love the word of the Lord until they hear their condemnation and they see how it fits their people, and then they got a problem with it. Then they then that's when they start to get uh, um, throwing insults at us, you know, as you're gonna see here in a second. And the true devil comes out of them, you know. Have I spoken before the O Lord, because Thou madest the world for our sakes, who sakes the chosen. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So does that sound like everybody's equal and makes sense? Get dude, you got it. Yeah, I got it right here. Listen if you to don't this. think you're my equal, dude, you're oh, confused. I'm, I'm so, so superior. So basically, you're, you're an idiot. Hey, real quick. So basically, <laughs> that's, hey, that's, 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 that's Esau, man. That's Esau. Esau. So you see, there goes the pride of Esau right there. He said, if you think you're superior to me, you're an idiot. All right. And that's again, going back to that, that scene from the movie, these devils that they've been going off of this, that they're the superior race. All right. And that's the same spirit that these devils have. All right. That's why they have to try to push this notion of everybody's equal because they know they know that they got to cool it down with the superior shit because they don't want to seem they don't want to make themselves known to be racist. But you see, when you corner these devils in with these scriptures, it brings a true devil out of them, man. All right. And it goes to show you that these devils are a bunch of deceivers. All right. They're all racist. No matter how much they try to downplay, no matter how much they try to say that they're not, these devils are racist, man. They don't they don't give a damn about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? So for all you people out there that have your, your white friends, all right, as soon as you start to tell them that you're superior than them, they can't see that, man. They dealt, hey, same thing this devil just said, man. Let's Let's play that again. Right. Hey, real quick. So basically, <laughs> that's, hey, that's, that, that's Esau, Esau, man. That's Esau. Esau, you, Esau can't you think hey, read that. Uh, you're, you're, an you're, you're an idiot. Yeah, what, uh, what so you're reading out the Bible. We're reading the you're Bible, man. See, there you go. You're an idiot. That's that's what they have to resort to as little children, man. All right, you got uh, you got a precept. Oh, uh, well, I prove because in that scripture that brought out the the second Ezra six. Come. Well, let me read the part or the point real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. To prove who the Lord's chosen are. Okay. Yeah, see, because these devils, they, they think they know these scriptures. They love the word of God, but they don't know Salakia. They don't know a damn thing about the scriptures, man. Okay. All right. This is second Ezra 6 and uh, 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Mm. All right, so now let's see who the Lord chose. This is uh, first Corinth or first Chronicles 16 and 13. O ye see. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Mm. See, so the Israelites, the seed of Jacob are the chosen ones, man. It didn't say the seed of Jacob and Esau. It said the seed of Jacob. All right. And then reading on it says, uh, 55, 2nd Andrew 6, 55, all this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, mm -hmm. for the Israelites. We just prove who the chosen were. And as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop falleth of a vessel. So there, the Lord looks at these other nations, especially Esau, all right, which he hateth. He specifically said, the Lord specifically said that he hates Esau. Mm -hmm. So it, out of all the nations that are that are but nothing unto the Lord, Esau, this this the so called white man that you see on your screen, he's the he's he's the, the bottom of the, the he's the shit you gotta scrape off the barrel. All right, he's nothing in the sight he's, of the Lord. He's yeah, a, he's the the pond scum. Yeah, you know, you know, you get those your you get the uh your little tanks that you you people put outside those little pools for little fountains or little little uh pond that they put in their front yard, man, and it starts to get that that scum on the side of the uh, the the container, man. That's Esau for you, man. All right, that scum line on the on the edges of the on the fish bowls, the little ponds, and everything like that, man.
All right. And like uh, you, you got the you got. A, okay, yeah, get that one. Okay, okay, okay. This is Second uh, Samuel seven and twenty three. And what nation on in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel? Come on, man. And so the scripture said, who is like unto us, man? So this guy is, is saying, oh, you think you're, you're, do you think that we're not equal? When the brother said that, yeah, well, I'm, su I'm superior to you. The guy said, if you think you're superior to me, you're an mm -hmm. idiot. Well, the scripture just said that, uh, read it again, Bobo Gashon. 2 Samuel 7 and 23. And what? One nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel. Come on. So what one nation is likened unto Israel, man? Okay. Who, what other people on this planet earth is anywhere near what Israel is like, man? We're the best at everything, man. Okay. Can't nobody compare to us. Uh, we'll play the video. The brother brings it out. The Deuteronomy. Come on. Yep. What does idiot mean? It's all you. Yes. Yeah, so he, he, he ain't got the answers. Plain plain answers. Yeah, he got the answers. I could look Deuteronomy it up chapter in the seven verse six. Could get access, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord you thy power. You guys have a good night. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Above all people. Upon the, the face of the earth. We're better than you, the Chinese man, <laughs> the Africans, uh, the Arabs. You believe right? it. You believe it. You know it's right. Come on, so you see that devil got cut. All right, and he had to take it out of there. <laughs> he had to hightail it, man, with his tail between his legs, man. All right, because you see, you can't come against the scriptures, man. And these devils know it. All right, they want to keep lying to themselves and saying that they're the superior race. That if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the white man ruling, everybody would be in in, in all type of chaos. Everybody would be savages. All right, but the true savage is the one in rulership, man. You know, and like the brother read in, in uh, Deuteronomy, man. We are a holy people. The Lord chose us to be a, a special people unto Him. So, and then when we read it, when we read in Second Samuel chapter seven verse twenty three, it said, "Who who is likened unto us, man? And why is no one likened unto us? Because the Lord chose us to be a holy people. When you go into that word holy, it means separate. Okay, was that it on that Second Samuel? Nah, there's more. Okay. Second Samuel seven twenty three. And what one nation in the earth? It's like thy people, even like Israel, whom whom the Most High went to redeem for a people to himself, and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. Come on, man. So the Lord took us up out of Egypt, man. He ain't he didn't uh, save any other nation, man. All right, he took the children of Israel through his miracles. All right, why? Because he loved us, man. He loves us above all other nations, man. He doesn't give a damn about these other nations. If you can get um, Isaiah 40 and 15, Bobo Bishra. All right, because these other nations, all right, as this devil just found out, all right, hey, they're nothing, man, com uh, compared to Israel. And that th that's that's what's going on around uh, America right now, man. These Edomites are starting to find out that, they're, that the scripture is saying... That the Israelites are 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 greater than these other nations, man. All right, and so Esau is trying to demonize us now because he doesn't want people to to. They want people to see us and and not want to hear us because they think that we're racist, we're all this and that. But the true racist is these devils, man, because they 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 are, are resorting to forcing lies on the people just to co continue in their their superior status. Okay. Go ahead and get that. This is Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Come on, as a small dust of the balance. When you get a a, a balance, you don't you don't even have to uh, blow the dust off because that, that really is minuscule. It's not going to change the weight of, of what's going on the scale. You know, and that's these other nations, man. These other nations are that dust, man, that 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 um that worthless, man. They're worthless. They have no weight to them. Okay. okay. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. Mm -hmm. And then we jump to verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Come on, man. So they are less than nothing, man. All the other nations are less than nothing. And what? Esau is the basis of men. All right. When you go into that word base, man, that's that's like the bottom of, a, of any foundation. That's the bottom of the bottom, man. So if the if all the nations are considered nothing, even less than nothing, what do you consider Esau? If he's the basis of nothing, you know, I believe it's seven. Okay, I got it. Okay. This is Job thirty and eight. They 
they were children of fools, yea, children of base men, they were violent in the earth. And it's mm. talking about Esau, man. He base men is is the lowest man on the earth, man. Because when mm -hmm. you when you have a basement, it's underground, it's under the house. All right, so that's the mm. lowest you can go. All right, Edomite is the is the lowest scum on the earth. Gun, right? Yep. So how can these Edomites, the so called white man, woman and child, be a superior race? You see, the scriptures just proved otherwise. Okay. Everything about Esau is <laughs> inferior. Yep. He can't go in the sun. All right, he. Uh, it, it, He's not as physically, just like the Genesis said, 25, that one nation shall be stronger than the other. Mm -hmm. All right. So clearly there's this weird, the Israelites are superior. Why isn't the NBA and the NFL full of Edomites? It's because they're, they're inferior to us. Uh, yep. You see, that's the, that's the, the, that's the spirit of these devils, man. All right. Don't, don't, don't let these devils fool you, man. They still have hate for you niggas in their hearts, man. All right. We just seen a pure example of that. All right. And this this Edomite that you see here on the screen that came up to camp, all right? Because the the the, <laughs> the pat the old thing was well we we're we're inferior or uh it, the Edomites or the white so called white people were better than you or right, you guys are inferior than us you ain't you are not even a whole man but mm -hmm. now here it is in twenty nineteen now they just want to be equal you know mm -hmm. well what do you mean everybody's made equal and then when we tell them that we're superior to them then then all of a sudden. You know, if it if we ain't equal, then no, that doesn't. Ex you guys are idiots. Yeah. You know. Well, I can see, see again, like like I showed in the clip in the movie, like we showed in the clip in the movie, man. That, hey, that was the same rhetoric that these these Ku Klux Klan guys were pushing, man. That they were the superior race. All right, there ain't nobody else above the white man. Ain't nobody else above the so called white man. Kind and that, that's the same spirit that these devils still have on them to this right. day. We just seen an example of that. Yeah, because it, it, it goes all, it goes, it, you know, that's been programmed into them. Now they're just born thinking like that. Yep. This is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh, oh, you have my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, mm -hmm. vanity, and things wherein there was no profit. God, man. So these devils, they've, they've inherited lies, man. They you think they, they're superior. That's the that's the biggest lie they've inherited. God, yeah. They they yeah, man. They're faith, hey, and that's why in Isaiah fourteen and twenty one it says, "Prepare slaughter for the children for the iniquity of their fathers." Man, your fathers lied onto you, lied onto their children, saying we're a superior race, and they went around uh, committing those atrocities on our people because they were pushing that that notion that they were superior, so they could do whatever they want, and now you devils. All right, you devils living today, you're going to have to pay for the iniquity of your fathers, man. All right, you're going to have to pay for that. Kind of, it's like, you know, you, you, you go into a, a restaurant with your dad and he lies to you and says, yeah, don't worry, it's, everything's free. And then he gets up the and owner. leaves. Yeah, he gets <laughs> up and leaves. <laughs> and, then le and then, you you know, the rate, the, the check comes and you say, well, my, my, my dad told me it was free. Well, it's too bad. You still got to pay for it. No matter what they said. Kind of, yep. You see? But this is, again, this is the spirit that these devils have on them, man. All right? What is it? From the womb they are born speaking lies? Yeah, yeah. They come God, that man. Psalms 53, I think. God, these, these devils, these devils, man, they'll try to tell you anything to try to keep stay in power, man. They'll demonize the men of the Lord, edit videos, make it look like we're, we're the ones pushing women on the floor. We're the ones cursing yeah. little Edomites out. But you play the whole clip and you see the truth, man. And that's why we're playing the spiritual clip. All right, we're 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 showing the whole spiritual movie to the to the whole world, and everyone's waking up to the fact that this devil is a is a damn uh is, that the so called white man is the devil, man. That he's a liar. That he's not superior to nobody. And these other nations are waking up to that fact too, man. Not just Israel. All right. You got anything else? No, that was it. Kind of, but uh, with that, you know, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem uh, uh Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, and much blessing and citations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out this truth and this truth in sincerity. All right, brothers, Shalom. Shalom.